Hello everyone, welcome to Geology Concepts. I'm here with the next video on what books to follow for IIT jam preparation. Now I've been receiving these comments uh, from a previous video that I need to make a video on the uh, on the books. So I'm here with that, sorry for the uh, delay. Uh, but yes, I will clarify all your doubts here that which bo books for which syllabus you need to follow. Now there's a way to follow uh, any kind of book because book is something that has a lot of information and we do not have that much time to you know uh, refer to to the books and uh, get our doubts clarified by that. So what you need to do is you have to follow the syllabus instead, search that topic on the content of the book, and then you just read out that particular topic that is mentioned in the syllabus. That that that's the way that uh, you will be reaching out to the exact resource that you're looking for, information that you're looking for, and also in lesser time. So that's how you do it. And also you can make notes out of the books, but again, those notes will be precise. There will be, there must be more of the keywords rather than having larger or longer definitions. Okay, so that's the way you, you do it. Now I will share uh, some books with, uh, their respective subjects and PDFs of which should be easily available uh, on the internet. If you do not find it, just let us know. We can share that with you, okay? So I will start with uh, first topic, which is applied geology or more clearly, we can say engineering geology. So for this, I would recommend you to follow the FG Bell book for engineering geology on the priority. And if you want more clarification uh, for some of the topics, then you can go ahead with this. Another book from Su Ping Peng and Jin Shai Zhang. Okay. PDFs of both of which are easily available. Uh, now, as I mentioned, just go for the topics that are mentioned in your syllabus and then go for the for exact topic on the content of the book. Okay. Because there are a lot of information which is at this time, not important for you. Okay. We need to uh, save the time as well while uh, referring to some books. Okay. Next in line is hydrogeology, the second part of applied geology. So the best book for this is C.W. Fetter. Uh, you must be aware of that already. But another books for these uh, uh, can be David Todd and Mays. Okay. And there is one Indian author book as well, BBS Single uh, and R.P. Gupta. But I would not recommend you to study Indian authors uh, for these topics, I would highly recommend that you go for a foreigner uh, or foreign author because the information is more precise and accurate in, in these books. Okay, so the FETRA would be on your priority, uh, highest priority. And then if you need more clarification, you can go for Todd and Mays. And at last, you can go for uh, Singhal and Gupta as well for hydrogeology. Next is for uh, geomorphology. I would highly recommend you to follow the Richard John Huggett. It's the best book I have ever found for geomorphology because the information is very crisp and fine. It's very to the point. It's very uh, easy to understand. So you should follow Richard John Huggett. I would actually recommend you to follow uh, this book uh, whenever you find some time because geomorphology is something that needs a lot of reading. So books are the best sources for that. Another book that you can follow is the William D. Thornbury, uh, but again, uh, not necessarily, only if you, if you would require more clarification on the subject, but the first priority should be the uh, R.J. Huggett. Next for structural geology, there is this famous book, Twist and Moore. You can go for, go for that. A uh, lot of information is, is there. Uh, another is the Fossen for structural geology. And there is another from Indian author S.K. Ghosh. But I would again recommend you to follow Twist and Moore uh, over uh, these two, okay? Next for stratigraphy. Now, of course, uh, in, in our context, we need to study only the Indian stratigraphy, most of it. There are only some part which is common to everything, such as geological time scale and what are the principles of stratigraphy and all that you can study uh, from any other standard book or Gary Nichols as well. Uh, but yes, as per the Indian stratigraphy is concerned, of course, we need to follow some Indian authors. And the best book for that is the Ramakrishnan. I know it's a, it's a very thick book. There are two volumes. It's about 1,000 pages book, but it's the best one. Now, again, there's a way to read Ramakrishnan. There is a lot of text in this book, but yes, I would recommend you to go for the tables. Again, stick to your syllabus, go for that particular time zone and take out the table of the formations that are mentioned in the book. So that you need to find out in the book and then you can uh, just memorize the tables. Another, you can follow the Ravindra Kumar as well, but 
to be honest ravindra kumar has lesser information than ramakrishnan so if you're just new to stratigraphy and you don't want to get into much of the deep deep deepness then you can go for the ravindra kumar but if you want to study and if you want actually score good marks from stratigraphy then go for the ramakrishnan book okay there are two volumes of ramakrishnan both should be there with you okay all right for sedimentology the best book is richard c selly of course uh, a lot of other uh, authors are there and people follow gary nichols and sam boggs but i would recommend c selly uh, for better understanding which because it's easy to understand the the text is easy easy easily written uh, you can go for gary nichols and sam boggs as well uh, see the reason i'm referring or i'm suggesting different or multiple books is because sometimes even a smaller thing is not mentioned in all of the books and it becomes important from the exam perspective so and also it's not uh, it's not possible to you know refer all the books at the same time but again i would recommend that something which is not clear from one book you can just refer for that topic to another book but otherwise just stick to one to one book whichever you find suitable for you okay so i would recommend richard c selly uh, as as your first priority and then you can choose uh, uh whatever you like next for paleontology of course this is something which requires a lot of reading again so there is a one from indian author pc jain uh, which is more common and more uh generally followed so i can highly recommend pc jain as well but yes the best book that is recommended for paleontology as a whole is uh foot and miller okay so that you can go uh, go for paleontology then the best book and the well known book jd winter for both igneous and metamorphic you do not need to follow any other book for igneous and metamorphic uh this is what i believe and i follow uh, but yes even if you want more understanding again you can go for this m wilson for igneous petrology this is just for igneous petrology but yes i don't think you would require any other book than jd winter for uh, igneous and metamorphic so your highest priority should be jd winter now for ore geology you can uh, follow the umeshwar prasad from indian author a very good book i would highly recommend that on the first priority if things are not clear you can go for evans as well okay being a foreign author uh, things are not as clear as uh, things are in umeshwar prasad so that's why that's on my second priority but yes umeshwar prasad should be a first priority here for economic geology <clears throat> all right then there is a larger topic in your syllabus that is the planet earth now that planet earth topic is itself uh, a blend of uh, multiple topics such as there is one stream of the planet earth itself in which you need to study all about the earth its shape size composition its motions and its presence in the solar system so that you can uh, study from the dynamic earth by pj wiley this is a, a good book then there is a smaller topics of geophysics i would not say geophysics but a very basics of that such as uh, idea behind gravity and magnetic methods earthquake seismology so for that you can refer to william lorry a very good book very easily written uh, very good images over there so it's easy to understand and yes there is another small topic from geochemistry such as radioactivity and thermodynamics for that you can follow peter ryan that is see these books are complete package of their respective subjects like peter ryan is a very good book for the whole of geochemistry but we need to find out the important topics for our preparation so for radioactivity and thermodynamics you can follow peter ryan and uh, similarly for the planet earth and the geophysics you can follow william lorry and pj wiley dexter perkins for mineralogy and crystallography best book uh, no need to study anything else there is there are some important informations very nicely mentioned in form of boxes like this is some book you will find uh, separate boxes uh, wherever an additional information is to be given to the reader so that's i believe is a very good part of dexter perkins because some important informations are also mentioned in those boxes so whenever you study dexter perkins you'll feel a uh, difference uh, with other on other books then there is a dana's uh, textbook as well this is a very old book uh, sometimes you might have to refer to this book but uh, your first priority should be dexter perkins okay 
now in the end uh, these were the whole subjects i don't think i have missed out on any of the subjects but if i have just let me know uh, in the end i would uh, just show you these uh, books would not recommend surely would not recommend any of these books because see these are the books of objective type questions that some of the authors have prepared for competitive exams such as iit jam gate and all but the drawback of these books is that that there are a lot of mistakes lot of incorrectness are there whether in the text whether in the concepts whether in the uh, uh, spellings grammar or anything of that sort but that small mistakes make a huge impact on your preparation because you get demotivated because you get demotivated because of these uh, you know smaller mistakes and that i have experienced from my students perspective a lot they always try to come up to me and say sir is this right or wrong book mein to aisa diya hai aapne to aisa padhaya so there are a lot of discrepancies in these books so i would not highly recommend these books to you but yes if you find time you can just go and go ahead with the with the questions mentioned in these but again you should follow those questions just to get an idea of how a question can be framed from the particular type of topic that's it you cannot stick to that particular question that yes this should be the question this should be its correct answer and this should be its correct explanation no whatever that is mentioned in these books is not highly corrected that's what i mean here okay but yes asaf said azhar hussain rk bobche and s m these are four books which are uh, making rounds uh, among the geology fraternity that these are some books some authors have tried to come up with some good quality questions for preparation but again not highly recommended rather i would recommend you take up geology concepts iit jam test series there are a fine questions particularly based on the iit jam syllabus and pattern uh, which will exactly catalyze your preparation or enhance your concepts based on the uh, good quality questions for your evaluation so that i would recommend to you rather than these okay so that's all from my side guys if you have any suggestions any comments any concerns just let us know in the comments and uh would try to come up with your sol with the solutions as soon as possible and yep all the best for your exam thank you